man. I definitely had to show this car some love, do you know what I mean? Um, AMG's back on Spa. It's a... Uh, really do like this car. Um, still not too sure if it's my favourite car out of the new GT3s. It's um, definitely got its own little quirks. Uh, from starters, I just found this car to have like loads of understeer, like loads and loads of understeer. So obviously I lum I'm lowering the wing. Uh, even then, like I still feel like there's loads of understeer. I then lowered the so uh, softened the springs on the front, maybe shortened the uh, shortened the ride height a little bit, a few clicks more on the front as well to help out. Um, in the description you'll see there'll be two setups, there was one that I did originally which got me a 15.8 which I was happy with but I knew there was definitely time there but I did feel like I was fighting with the car but then I don't know I just decided to change one or two different things and I feel like it helped me with the setup anyway, it made the car a little bit freer on, on entry, made it a little bit nicer to drive so you know I'll put it there in the description you guys can take a look at, it, at both of them and and let me know what you think. You know, you might prefer the original one as opposed to the uh, uh, the the, the two fifteen six six one uh, that I did here. Um, but yeah, the car, like I said, had like it was like a really weird balance between oversteer on entry and then trying to like get that out. But then at the same time, every time I did that, that tried to get rid of that, I didn't just cause like loads and loads of oversteer on exit. So I feel like I found a happy medium. I guess you know I'm sure you know I'm sure that it, obviously this is I haven't touched the dampeners I don't really know exactly what to do with them at the moment but I feel like I've um, still got a lot to learn when it comes to, to to making those sort of adjustments but I do remember reading somewhere that those were meant to be the last things that you do change when it comes to your setup so if anybody's got any uh, knows any improvements in terms of like what else to get out of this setup you know after you've tried it please let me know um but yeah man I, I feel like after after driving all the other cars i feel like i'm now starting to really get to grips with this track and understand what it is that i really need to do to maybe get out more time um like for, for starters some of the curbs i feel like even though when i do touch when i when i do ride them I do get like the, the rear end just loses a lot of traction but at the same time I could use that to my benefit allowing me to stay on full throttle around certain corners um, while then allowing the car to sort of like it, like it seems like I've compromised myself on the corner entry but going over the curb allows the car to just turn even more while I'm still on the throttle so for example I don't know what number to, uh, what, what number the, co uh, the, the corner is but it's coming up here this that first curve there you can go over quite nicely this one you can go over quite nicely it's this one here bam when you go over there you could see in the video um, the original uh, the original clip that once you go over it the car will lose traction but over there I used it quite nicely because it allowed the car to turn even more this next one here this left hander is another one as well you ride it and the car will turn a bit more not as bad as the first but again it can be used to really sort of like get that time down here um, again like on my original setup I was finding it really hard to get a good turn in but there I feel like the, the the change to the setup helped me a little bit better with the entry on that on that fast left. Um, this next corner, this left hander, this left hand curb is quite a dangerous one as well. I feel like I don't really want to be touching it. Uh, even though like using the same trick like I did with did before, I'm not too sure. It's too sketchy. That last right hander there is another one where you can go over the curb and it'll help the car, the car turn a little bit more. Um, but yeah man and then obviously from here you're just trying to like you know get your head down just make sure you focus you can stay full throttle around this next left just got to make sure you get a wide entry uh, um, and uh, but yeah here break just after the 150 probably about 125 definitely not 100 and um, yeah just got to throw that car around uh, and it feels loose but loose in a good way around those corners so but yeah that's my lap um, hopefully you guys find the setup useful and um, I'll catch you guys later thanks for watching